Welcome to video number four in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. There are many movers and shakers who have a vested interest in the tourism industry within a destination. The easiest way to understand the roles and relationships is by looking at the tourism stakeholders triangle. Its three major components are government, business, and community. Although each is a separate and distinct entity, they must interact continuously on numerous issues, so their collaboration is critical to the success of the tourism industry. Government comes first and is one side of the triangle. Why? because it's responsible for the initial enabling legislation and the many other laws and regulations that provide the tourism industry's legal structure. Government consists of numerous departments and agencies that are responsible for everything from international agreements, administration and enforcement, to resource management and infrastructure development. It also formulates the policy and spearheads the planning that provide the framework for subsequent tourism development and operations. Anyone who has ever worked in tourism development knows that nothing happens without political will, which means government support. Without government support, tourism stagnates or declines. The other side of the triangle is business. Government, the public sector, sets the table for tourism to flourish, but it is business, the private sector, that prepares and serves the products consumed by tourists. Governments collect fees and taxes but it is business that takes the risk, engages the tourists, creates the destination's image and reputation, and makes the profit that enriches the community. Many additional businesses also open or expand to support the tourism industry within a destination, such as construction companies, food distributors, marketing agencies, laundries, and banks. But the main businesses in the tourism stakeholders triangle are tourism businesses from the four operating sectors transportation, attractions, accommodations, and food and beverage. These are the suppliers. Through their entrepreneurial endeavors and collective efforts, tourism businesses are responsible for creating and operating the specialized products within the destination that provide tourists with meaningful experiences and suitable facilities. They also provide many jobs and careers for the local people. The base of the triangle is the community because everything involved in tourism takes place within a community or its surrounding area. This includes the destination setting and appeal, the businesses in its four operating sectors, the local people who make up the tourism industry's workforce, and everyone else who interacts with the influx of tourists during the normal course of their daily lives. And remember the golden rule of tourism. The only reason to develop tourism anywhere is to benefit the local people. Two more components supplement the tourism stakeholders triangle. First, tourists are often inserted into the center of the triangle and as such are showcased as the focus of the three sides and the beneficiary of their work. This central position within the triangle also demonstrates the importance of a customer orientation within the tourism industry. An appropriate tourism philosophy, along with careful planning and promotion, will help ensure that a destination attracts the type of tourist that is most beneficial to its triple bottom line. Second are special interest groups, non-governmental organizations, and non-profit organizations. These groups represent constituencies and advocacy groups whose focus often intersects with tourism activities and goals. Examples would be a wildlife association or a heritage foundation. This component also includes public-private partnership organizations and associations that directly support the tourism industry, such as those which perform destination marketing activities and those which represent the interests of specific tourism sectors and professionals, such as hotel associations and tour guide associations. A successful destination has strong public-private partnerships with equally strong representation from the community and the many other groups, organizations, and associations that are stakeholders within the tourism industry. Now I invite you to watch video number five, the four operational sectors of tourism. Thank you.